Hey guys, so I just saw the worst goddamn Luna tier list ranking ever on TikTok and you know as a coping mechanism I had to get on and make my own. Really tough times we live in that we had to see stuff like that on social media. Anyways, yeah, so I'm gonna change this part up because it's kind of ass cheeks. We don't rate shit like that, we gotta rate shit my way, the right way. Hope you guys like my three houses Ada Guard mouse cursor picture, special cursor. I think it's pretty cool. Here is the new and improved list, the awesome, awesome sauce tier. Means, you know, self explanatory, it's awesome sauce. Holy shit and moly means the song's really good, but it isn't it, it didn't change my life. Uh it's still a banger, it's still you know on my playlist, everything. Luna Seal of Approval means it's a good song, but it's not something I'm gonna have on repeat like these. Man means man, shit means shit. Worst song of all time. Uh special case and intros it's just I don't wanna rank them, although some of them are really good. Anyway, spoiler alert, worst thing of all time. Yeah. Apparently this is like a hot take, more like a lukewarm take because a lot of people like this song for some reason. Even though this song causes my brain to necrose every time it gets put on. Like, you know, I put on the song and I'm like, you know what, maybe it's not that bad. And then, and then the chorus hits. I'm like, holy shit. Who made this? Who's responsible for this? Like, Jesus Christ. It's, you know, this killed Luna in my eyes. Uh, and after this, you know, I, I kind of already knew that this battle was going to happen, you know. But that's just me. I have, you know, I see, I see, I see a lot farther than most people. I see a lot better than most people. It is what it is. Like, making... K-pop groups rap, you know, everyone knows it's a bad thing. The raps are never really that good. And then, you know, Luna starts coming in here, you know, rapping, you know, lyrical, lyrical, spiritual miracle. And like, it's just like, like, holy shit. So, uh, and then they start making them rap more after all the Butterfly, after the Butterfly album. And like, what, what did anyone expect really? Anyways, Vivid Acoustic. I don't know why these are ordered in such a like dumb way, but it's whatever. Luna, Vivid, uh, whatever, you know. I don't like I don't like the fact that it's literally just the Vivid vocal track pl placed over the acoustic track. There's no changes whatsoever, so it kind of like w w and then when you notice that it starts become it starts losing it, it loses its cohesion. It becomes really dumb sounding. Where you at? This is like decent kind of ballad nice sense you know I, I realized I like the Luna member's voice too much to rank most of their songs really low but yeah puzzle I forgot about the song until I listened to it recently and I'm like yep banger I mean around you this is one of the best um uh, this is one of the best solos, even though it's one of the least viewed, least appreciated, because you know, it's hard for people to appreciate good things. And it goes against their like, their like thesis, you know, their their like, uh, their like code of ethics. When they, when when people become born, they just can't listen to good music. I wasn't born like that. You know, the doctors called it a genetic deficiency. I saw it as something else. Kiss later. Kind of a hot take it's like it's here wait this is also here i'm kind of blind um yeah a lot of people kind of like his later it's a cute song and i kind of like it but i i don't listen to it that much sweet crazy love the song changed my life holy shit like you no know, spoiler alert all this entire album all the girlfriend tracks are really good in fact, every subunit song is really good. In fact, every Luna song is really good. Most Luna songs are really good. You know, like the violins. The music video is really good. You know, what do people know about good music? 
good music videos nowadays. Nothing. Egoist. I actually listened to the song a really long time ago before I actually got into Luna because there's a Japanese artist I like who goes by the same name. And I remember listening to the song and I was like, damn, this fucking sucks. You know, like, but now. No, I see, I see that I was wrong. You know, I was just a dumb 10 year old. We've all been there. I see it now. The, the instrumental is really crazy. It's kind of, it's kind of dumb. But then like the dance break comes and it's like, this, this is really smart. And then Jinsoul starts rapping. And then it's like, okay, you know, maybe it is kind of dumb. But like, still awesome sauce. Heart attack. I don't listen to the song any that much anymore because it's overplayed, but like it's a classic, K-pop classic, everyone knows it. Your grandma knows it, you know. Uh this used to be like my number one song of all time for like two months. Uh when I was a when I was a wee young lad, a sophomore. And then I didn't listen to it for a while and then I listened to it again and I was like, Jesus Christ, the production is very kind of bad like the mixing's kind of bad but like I love Kim Lip's voice it's still good melody good everything it just kind of sounds like it's been put through a drainage pipe no still not holy shit I'm all weak here let me in another banger solo track um again this one's underrated like around you but you know same same thing applies this one's funner. The song single handedly, the music video single handedly made me like Iceland. Such Greenland, I forgot where it was there. You know, whatever that Scandinavian shit. It's a really cool place. Hustle. You know, best voice in Luna. In my honest, my honest, fair opinion. Chaotic. In Holy Shit and Molly Tear. It's a good song, but like, it's kind of weird that this song, I mean this album, you know, starts off with odd slash ad, and then um, goes to girlfriend and sweet crazy love, and then it goes into these slow R and B tracks, which kind of weird, but all bangers, so it's fine. Dal saying no, this is an intro. This is also an intro. This is a ballad. Not really a ballad, it's a slow song. But a really good slow song. Yeah. I'm not even a big fan of ballads. You know, you know. You know, I don't have an acquired taste for it. I'm not, I have to, have to admit. But yeah, this one's good. Good instrumental. All the Luna songs, you know, they have like... The, at least, um, Butterfly and Previous. But if I'm before, uh, they all have synths on them, you know, like these are ethereal sounding uh, synths and key such keyboards, such bells, and it, it it makes all their songs really cohesive. You know, not all of them have it, but mo all, most of them have it, especially and when on the, all their um, and plus plus and XX, and it's just like this is cohesive sound to all their music that makes them all sound dreamy. That's why they sound really good. Even when they explore so many different genres and concepts. It's, it's just like real shit, real music. Like I can't believe people haven't mentioned it that much. But you know, that's why I'm here. To say what uh, the masses won't say. Number one. Holy shit a moly. Uh, uh, after, but plus plus, you know, when I first heard So What and whatever, you know, I was I was really bitter. So I didn't like a lot of the music. A lot of the B-sides, but you know, I've calmed down, I've matured, my heart, you know, I, it's stowed, my, my blood lust gone. And I can see the music for what it really is, good music. Every day around you, yeah, it's, it's alright, you know, like, it's the weakest solo track, in my opinion. Uh, still, still fun, still good to listen to, music video is chill and cute, you know, I like Vivi's voice, but, yeah, I just, 
Not as special sounding, not as memorable as these. My Sunday. I've only listened to the song like three times. Every time I listen to it, I'm like, I'm, it's like, this is good. I should keep listening to it, and then I don't. So it's like, I put it at the top of Luna Cielo approval. You know, maybe if I did actually listen to it more, like, it would be Holy Shin Moly Tear. Because it's like, and when, when they first did, there's a lot of songs that sound like this. You know, a lot of the Heijin Heijin tracks sound like this. And I really like the Heijin Heijin tracks. But I, I like Heijin and Heijin's voice more than um, Yo, Yojin's. Right? I do like Hasu's voice more than both of them. Singing in the Rain. I was the biggest Singing in the Rain hater until I saw this random Animal Crossing edit. Where some girls run, you know, some girls doing a dance, and it's, they're they're like cosplaying as, as Jinso. It, it was diverse, and it was like I, was, I literally ascended, like out like, like holy holy shit, how have I not heard this song? And then, and then I shazammed it, and I was like, oh, it's singing in the rain. Oh, uh, and I listened to it again, and I'm like, holy shit! And then the chorus, which I, I hate the chorus. Well, I used to hate the chorus. Now, it's fine. I like it. But like the, the verse is like like every single time it hits it still hits you know like 12 listens later because i have not listened to the song enough it's in holy shit i'm only here um this is an awesome sauce here two and eve you know this song is so so chill so fun uh i'm not gonna have a lot of adjectives to say because my vocabulary is really bad. I need to source with me. So you're gonna hear a lot of like the four same words. The four same songs over and over again. I mean the four same words over and over again. However, these are words I, I, I hold highly in my in my lexicon. So yeah, chill, fun. Girls talk. People need to listen to it more. You know, this song had like one billion trillion streams on Spotify, this one has like three. So Something's going on, something wrong. Hide and seek. This one, it's all right, you know. I don't remember it at all, actually. I'll put it here. I think I, I, I'm gonna be honest, you know. I did make, I have to be honest, I did, I already did this tier list, but during making the tier list, I have to listen to all the music. So, and I really, I just listened to them again, and my. Opinions are even more well developed now. So I put this one in hide and I put hide and seek here. It's not, it's like, yeah. Uh, this is an intro. This one is, this is a really good intro. And I'm just being honest, I heard it. I cried when, when Kim Lip was like, I'd be there by moonlight. And I, well, Shakespeare couldn't do this. But Luna can. Same thing as number one. I was a hater to listen to it. Now this is this is the this is the Mimi song. It gets put on the Mimi's on TikTok with all the other K-pop groups. Cause I was hating on Luna Rap before, but this song does have a good rap, you know. I know, unconventional. No one else is in K-pop. But if it were to be done in K-pop, it would be done in a Luna song. You know. Heat. This song is so like I didn't like the chorus at first, but I liked them more, you know, that weird, like, sax, super, like, super distorted sax, but then, but the verse is really good, and then towards the end, when it combines the chorus and the pre-chorus, like, that's real shit, that's real songwriting, you know, so, I put out holy shit emoji, maybe, it, awesome sauce here, but I don't know, uncover, I don't know. I really like the song. I think it's the Maximus B side I listen to the most. That doesn't have an MV. I don't consider Suitcase Eleven B side, even though it is, because it has an MV. I you not put it here. Cherry's parts are really good. Or they're 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 too good. Rendezvous eighteen point six Y. One of my favorite lyrics in a Luna song. Very cute. Kind of sounds like like a natural 
advancement from Luna one third son. You know, even though girlfriend was like split in the middle, split split in the middle, but like he's good. And when you really think about it, it's kind of a weird combination to put Chu, Eve, Olivia, and Gowan. But like, I guess it was like two rappers, sub vocalists, and two main vocalists. But Eve is, you know, just weird combination. Rain 51 DB, underrated track. I think Luna One Third album is the best album, the best subunit. You know, even though they don't have, they don't have my favorite tracks. Girlfriend and Love Forever are my favorite tracks. But like, there's no bad songs on the album and all of them are like minimum eight out of 10. It's like, like holy shit, you know? Or minimum like nine, actually. Yeah, this time my song is rosy. My life is rosy. The instrumental sounds like a video game track, which, you know, as a certified gamer myself, you know, I like, you know, I imagine this in, in like the Persona 5 soundtrack, even though it wouldn't really fit there, but like, just imagine, dude, just imagine. Breaks is 5, uh, it's an alright ballad, you know. This is their first track after Butterfly, that big ass drought, and I was, I was not impressed, to say the least. One and only, yeah, number one rap song out did. Every other rapper, we all know this. Um, this has the same want, has the same chorus as this, the same melody. <laughs> Just putting it out there. Also, this is probably my favorite music video, second favorite music video. All of them, you know, I like that. Um, uh, Aztec ratio switch from like vertical to horizontal to like full screen. You know, gag me. Really good. B1. Maybe the best B side. Solo unit B side. The one I listen to the most at least too. Voice. The best post both the best post plus plus track. No, this alongside Star with Star. Sorry in English. And as an English speaker myself, you know. Some of you may not know that. I would put it above voice. Oh, this is an intro. It's not a very good intro, I think. Why not? Shit. Yeah. Yeah, the title tracks, you know. You know, I actually really really made something more fitting. Yeah, so I was the I was the least of my dick writer because I'm an SM dick writer. You know, I'm a big fan of Red Velvet, EXO, NCT. But then that started kind of failing me. You know, I don't want any of you guys to sit here and pretend like Birthday was a good song. And that two baddies, one Porsche, is a lyric you can stomach. And EXO, they just haven't done anything, so. And so then when I heard he was working on the tracks, I was like, yo. We're gonna get something like, you know, something cool, you know, something like, something like an SM song, you know, you know, harmonically rich, you know, in unique instrumentals, you know, B-sides that aren't filler bullshit. And like, you know, the B-sides are good, but like, these title tracks, they're just so... Stop making them rap! People are like, oh my god, he's in rapping! I'm like, we don't need that shit, we don't, we don't need, we don't need, we, like, we were perfectly fine with just... You know, her like singing, you know, and speaking, you know, we, we don't need none of that. We, we don't need that. We don't. And why not? You know, another, another punch in the face. So what? I at least watched, I listened to a couple of times because I got, you know, I tried to talk home, center myself into it and ended up liking the instrumental somewhat. And why not? It was just like, you know, they just, they just, why not make shit, you know? That's what they asked themselves. And you know, they, they didn't have to answer it, but they did. How harsh world we live in. You know, we're just guinea pigs in the in the torture lab that is Lisa Man's studio room. Another intro. Pretty good intro though. The Carol 
classic Christmas music, you know. They play this at church. Iconic. Vivid. Uh, the French one never the same after this. The new national anthem. It's not even in, in, in their like language, but you know, they have so much respect for what Heejin did. You know, they had to incorporate it into you know, all this nationalist, nationalist stuff. They play this at protests. They play this at rallies. They, you know, like, this is a song they wake up the military to over there. It's real music, you know. They started off, Luna debuted it with this song. They already, they already, they came in swinging, killing everyone. Like, they didn't hold it back. And this got like three views when it came out. Like, holy shit. Holy shit. Like, if Luna came, if Luna debuted right now with all the shit they're doing right now, they would be on top of the world. They'd be New Jeans level of new group popularity. New game, new group popularity. But people, you know, the world wasn't ready. Love and live. Hmm. I was not a big fan of the track until more recently when I came to realize, uh, when I came to appreciate uh, Luna One Third as a as a group, so there's, so there's these two remixes. They're not on here. These two rem remixes on YouTube. I don't know if they're on the album. I think they're on the album. I'm pretty sure they're on the album. They're on the repackage. In this one, they're like they're insane. They make they make Love and Live and Yumi together like just like an, an entire like two two numbers ahead above. No, but like you know, regardless. Really good track, fun music video. The old music videos are so good, dude. The Luna One Third music videos, like, like, I I love that saturated shit, you know, when they're playing in the fucking tennis courts, like, real setting, real composition. And when it's like Eclipse, everyone likes this song, you know. Reddit, everyone like that. You know, Fallout Four, haha. Reddit, Reddit, haha. Everyone like that. Everyone like this. People say this is a song to put for not kid listeners because it's chill but like and just put girlfriend yeah Kim's voice is really good this song is really long but it doesn't feel long because it's really good also again one of my favorite music videos I like that tower she's in it's cool instrumental is cool yeah Instrumental is really cool. Sonic Team. You know, like there's just so much shit going on. It sounds good. The only reason this song isn't in Awesome Toss tier is because the vocals have a bunch of like production on it compared to the instrumentals, even though apparently they're MIDI. And I can't tell the difference because, you know, I'm, I'm you know, I'm not cool enough, sadly. But yeah, the vocals have a lot of production on them and making sound really stupid. Really dumb. I fucking hate that shit. That's what it killed BTS. It killed TXT. You know. And it could have killed Luna, but they only did it for this song, Thank God. But if it didn't have that, it, it'd be awesome plus tier. Like, you know, this this instrumental went viral on on not viral, quote unquote viral on Twitter. People thought it was really cool, and then people were and like, what song is it? And someone says Luna, and then they're like, ah, oh, no, 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 no. Because they have like K-pop brain rot, blah blah. You know, when you see a fan cam, you're like, oh my god, you know, I can't. I, you know, it's so hard to look at these funny like memes, you know. But this fan cam, they get in my way. I'm like, well, you know, why, 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 why? Good for you, bro. You know, 2023, you're still complaining about that. Jesus Christ, surrounded by 12 year olds. Blah blah. Into the new world. This is an intro. Why not into the new heart? This is a ballad. And it's really good. I barely remember this song. I'm trying to only recently listen to it. And I was like, and there's a lot of songs on here that I didn't listen to before that I listened to. And I realized I'm missing out. So there's, there's only so many songs you can listen to in a day. Sadly. Stylish. Maybe awesome sauce. But yeah, it is some awesome, awesome sauce. You no, know, so good that even Taylor Swift sold from it. 
That's Luna's influence. <laughs> Fairy tale. Yeah, awesome sauce. Real good shit. The first when Heejin comes in for the first time, and you guys need to listen to the song again and listen to for that part. That's real music. Intro. Love Cherry Motion. What Katy Perry wants to be. Yeah. This is a song that gets recommended to every reactor because I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, the beat drop, oh my god, oh my god, uh, Phrygian, um, Arabic, um, um, Love Cherry, um, yeah, Purple, yeah, you know. And they should keep doing that. We need more people to react to this song because it's cool, it's funny. Uh, that real type of music. More K-pop K-pop groups used to do switch-ups a lot, so it isn't really that rare for song to sound like this, but also this song had a more unique switch-up and a better switch-up than most music. That's why it was good. That's why it's memorable. And that's why it deserves 3 billion streams. Favorite. This is a hot take, but this is only... This is at the bottom of Holy Shit a Moly. I just sung I... Almost never listened to, but I, I respect that. I have a lot of respect for it. It is a good song. It's just not for me. Perfect Love. It's alright. Also towards the bottom, Holy Shit But it's a, it's, a, it's a very cute song. Very good song. I like the chorus. Oops. Um, Numa Silo Approval. You and me together. Change my life. The remix and the remix. Dude, like the bass, the bass guitar in the background. Funky as hell. Fun as hell. This chorus. Hugin's voice. This is Hugin's best song. This is her best, you know, work. You know, this is at the top of her portfolio. You know, and I, I, I am a Hugin fan. So. That's why I like it. Ball again. No, I don't remember most of the B-sides. I just listened to them recently and I still don't remember them. But they're a lot better than I thought. You know, this is, this is on Luna Seeds of Approval. Uh, from, this is just Girlfriend, but different. So, yeah. Cool beat. Frozen. This chorus is crazy, bro. Like, this is, a, this is a real chorus. But the verses are only decent, so. You know, only a shitamoli, only a holy shitamoli. Seesaw, actual lyrical masterpiece, number one lyrics and number one lyrics and music in general. Like, I see you, but then he, but then she left, you know, her partner. So then it turns into I saw you. Which one is it? You, you know, like, you know, in like, then you know, I'm like seesaw. Holy shit. Lyrics were never the same after this one. My melody. Basically, also like my Sunday. I'll be there. This is a huge, uh, huge, huge track. This is top five Luna songs. Like I listen to this shit every single day for the past two years. Like music does not get as good as this. Love letter. I was obsessed with this song, but like. You know, it kind of, you know, it lost, it lost its touch on me, but still, still really good. Satellite. This one is not crazy good. It's still holy shit mode here, but like, well, people would put it really high. But you know, it's, it's not quite that good. The curl. This is the kind of worst version of the curl, but like, you know. It's not. It's not. The, it's not the version they prefer. Uh, it's, not, it's not the version the corporations and the churches prefer. Not the versions the the uh, Forever Twenty One prefers. But you know, still good. XX another intro. Blah blah. New, real, Euro pop. Uh, yeah, I, pre I yeah, I know music. Um, I'm 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 a bit musically inclined myself. You see, I I, I know I know a bit of genres here and there. But yeah, probably top five uh, solo tracks 
I put it right there, yeah. Mm, Love Forever, holy shit. Probably their second best song. Like, we'll order them later. Second best song. Like, we need, we, like, the intro with Grimes. No. Grimes producing, that's genius decision. We need more of that. When we're, we're never gonna get more of that, you know. That's just one of the the first nail in the coffin for Luna. I saw it. Some people didn't, but you know, I see, you know I established already. I see differently. I view things differently on the atomic level, on the molecular level. I see things. Also, you know, the best part of the song, the two best parts, underrated. People don't talk about. It. I have to mention them because people won't mention them otherwise. Um, the final chorus was the Eve ad lib, and the towards the end when the instrumental changes and there's a bit of a reverb to it, it's really, really towards the end of the song. And like in the music video, there's just a part where like Olivia's in the forest and she did like a, a like a turn. That part, like people need to talk about these two parts more. Starlight, it's all right. You know, one of the slowest songs, but this song. You know, every time you hear the bang. Girlfriend. Holy shit. You know, basic ass pick. At least it should be, but I check. I check. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this shit. What the fuck is this? What? 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 Like. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. You know, like. First of all, all these songs should not all these songs. Most of these songs should be up over here. Like girlfriend not getting the do it to the serve. Right, which is why I have to do. I you know I you know. So like what can there what can be said that hasn't already been said? One of the greatest instrumentals of all time. One of the greatest choruses of all time. One of the greatest bridges of all time. One of the greatest music videos of all time. Like, one of the greatest lyrics of all time. Yeah. This song literally changed my life. This song got me into K-pop. Like, like I, I, I was a K-pop here and I heard this song and like, like my heart, you know, just this block of ice, just immediately just broke, broke apart, melted. Like, holy shit. Anything gonna do. Also, all those losers. I see you guys. All those losers on in comment section. People, because the song is a meme. People do like the uh, very, 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 very funny. You know, like imitations of it with their voice, the bassline, blah blah. And then people are like, "What song is this?" And people are like, "40 Hours by Polyphia." And it came out first. This song copied. Blah 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 blah. It's a sample pack, and the 40 ounce song is a guitar, not a goddamn synth, piano, whatever. No, keyboard. I know it's a piano. But you know, people are not musically as inclined as me and people don't understand how samples work, so shit happens. I mean, it's Butterfly. This song, I actually listened to the song a lot, even though I didn't even really like it for some reason. However, it is good. Chorus is really good. This is their most liked song for some reason. Um. Like, it's good. It is really good, but it's, it's not like, it's not like these tracks, you know. Like, me personally, I don't get it, but, you know. Valentine Girl. Real cute K-pop. Real cute concept, you know. They're never gonna do it again. No K-pop group is ever gonna do that again. Closer to be how right now is like, 50-50. But they're probably gonna mature. You know, and do more, do less cutesy stuff. Which is, you know. It's not that less cutie stuff is worse inherently, it's just that they always get the worst producers to do them. You know, if it's, if it's not Espress producers, then just stop. This is an intro. This is another top five track. It's like... I listen to the song also. This is my second most listened to Luna song. It's just like... Also one of my favorite music videos and 
lyric wise you know you you you, you can't beat that bridge bridge no that post chorus I don't remember. No, it's a it's a it's a new pre course towards the end. But yeah. I'll be a real song structure. Like this is the big this is the big powwow after their powwow after all the pre debut bullshit. And like they they killed it. They killed everything. And this song is less like than Butterfly for some reason because you know, once again, people are just not as musically inclined as me. People don't see what real music sounds like. People don't hear what music, real music sounds like. So this doesn't get its credit. This doesn't no work near close to its credit it's due. Ding Dong Dang, also really good. Uh, what is it? Is this like, this is a song that, you know, during, during my bitterness after um, hearing this, travesty the song thawed my heart a little bit i was like you know what maybe this album isn't that bad another bb track it's all right it's all right curiosity sounds kind of gay um you know kind of kind of kind of suggested wait a minute. it's around here Lunatic. I'm getting kind of tired. You know, just imagine everything I said for Girlfriend applies to Lunatic 2. But slightly later, because I listened to the song like a year after I got into uh, Luna. I was like, they have a song named Lunatic? Wow, that's like, that's like a great pun. So I clicked on it, and then I got hit with the, with the dun 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 dun. And then I was never the same after that. Universe, good, good, good song. Colors, ultra mega banger. I showed this, I showed this to some of my friends and they didn't react. It just, you know, which further isolated me from my, you know, civilization, society, my town, my community, all that jazz. You know, that's the type of shit I've had to go through. You know, this experience. What happens when you live life like me? When you live life like me? Man, day and night. It's meh. All of these songs, I don't remember. One of them is not that good. This is a... Hula Hoop is Holy Shit and Moly. I'm going to trade any of these because these are the ones I care about the least. Starseed. I saw someone put this on as their number one Luna track. That that's in the in the mentioned um, worst ranking ever, and I, I like something died inside of me. But at the same time, like a phoenix, something rose up within me that I had to, I had to make something. I had to say something about it. Not like it's bad though. It's Luna seal of approval. Hula Hoop City Pop version, I can totally read what it says. Also really good, surprisingly good. But it's not City Pop. You know, that's just kind of kind of dumb. And all these songs are Luna Seal of Approval, different ratings. Some of them have the potential to be in Holy Shit and Holy Tear. I have to listen to them again. Wait, no. Yes. I don't know which one it is. One of these... It's an English song and it's not good. But yeah, it goes on here. So yeah. This is the conclusive, objective Luna song ranking. You know, and to order them within your tiers. Hold on. Okay. So, like this is the top five overs. Girlfriend number one. Number two, probably Love Forever. Hi, hi, number three. Uh, three crazy love. I'm gonna take number four. And I kind of want to add these top five, but I think I might have been lying. Yeah, I'll keep it like this. Ego is more towards 
the bottom. Uh, right here. Good enough. Puzzle. Uh, chaotic. No, no. Curiosity Starlight Butterfly. Who look better than these? Uh, Seesaw, number two. Rendezvous, number three. Sonatine. Rosie. Uh... There. This one. Um, that's about right. I do not care for these. So, yeah. Objective Luna Mega Ranking Ultra Tier List. If anyone's list doesn't look like this exactly, I did differentiate from this even the tiniest a bit. Just know that their opinions are second to mine. Okay, and real talk, just to avoid hate, because I myself a little bit of a wah wah baby wah wah. This is not the worst song of all time. The verses, there's one part of the instrument I like, the bagpipe. I think I'm just, I'm just call it that. It's not wait, it's not a bagpipe. You know, you guys probably know what I'm talking about. That part's cool. The verses are the epitome of all right. They just did that chorus, man. That chorus. It's just like, it's like a fucking shotgun blast to my head every time. Every single time it comes on. But yeah. Bye.